A hundred years ago, Einstein published his theory of general relativity that explained gravity as the curvature of space. Very soon afterwards, he predicted gravitational waves, which are ripples in the curvature of space. It's the release of the energy equal to three times the mass of the sun turned into pure energy in one tenth of a second. And these waves traveled through empty space at the speed of light for a billion years and passed through the solar system on the 14th of September, 2015. The signal that we picked up represents the biggest flash of energy from the universe that has ever been observed in astronomy. There is a Chinese saying that a barrel is very tiny, but it still has all the organs. So for our facility here, it was really baby, but we have all the necessary components to do the research. For so many years, some people are so skeptical about, are we ever going to discover gravitation waves? And we were sort of so excited and want to see exactly what the waveform is, and really beautiful. And we think all these years of hard work really paid off. You know, we want to detect a very sensitive, very small signal. This gravitational wave signal is very small. So we want to detect that. Before we can detect that, we have to suppress other noises. I uh, built uh, the first uh, small-scale detectors uh, at the UWA in 95. This is really exciting news. Uh, I have been dreaming of this for the last 20 years. Very proud of to be part of uh, this dis discovery. We basically teach um, supercomputers to listen to the sound of the universe. The, the aim is to detect gravitational waves um, with minimum delay and send the gravitational wave event triggers to other telescope with minimum delay. Oh, this is probably one of the most important discoveries of this century. Um, it will be written into the history of the astronomical discoveries. So now that we've discovered uh, the gravitational wave signals from bl binary black holes, there's going to be signatures from other astrophysical phenomena. And some of those will give out signatures in the radio, gamma ray, uh, in the infrared. So we can put all the pieces together like a jigsaw puzzle and unravel some of the biggest mysteries in the universe, such as what powers the engines within some of the most dynamic explosions throughout the universe. So gravitational waves are the quietest instruments on the planet. Ten years ago, the group at UWA predicted that uh, these gravitational wave detectors will turn light into sound. The effects here on Earth, however, is slightly disappointing. We often listen to the signal from the gravitational wave detectors, and what we hear is a whoop. That's it, a tenth of a second. That little whoop is actually a beautiful signal. Slowed down 150 times, it sounds something like this. To know that we've been a significant part of this most momentous discovery is as satisfying as it can be. This is the moment when the universe has spoken for the first time and I can't imagine another physics discovery as big as that. <laughs>